Today on the channel, the latest and greatest from Unrivaled Series 14, Ricky Starks. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! channel for another AEW Unrivaled Series 14 unboxing and review. And today on the channel for Unrivaled 14, we got Ricky Starks. But for all your Ricky Stark needs, make sure you're not ringside collectibles. Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. Got to get the deal out there. And of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there and been a little bit since we've had a Ricky Starks figure. As we did get a prior release, we'll take a look at that. He also had a Chase Rare Edition not too long ago. And I'll never forget that Chase Rare Edition. If you guys, longtime members of the channel, remember that video? I went to a Target store. I was filming. And when I got home and I was editing my video that night on the couch, it was like 1130 at night. And I went to that Target at, let's say, 8 a.m. that morning. I'm looking through my footage, and lo and behold, what is three figures back in the peg? It was the Ricky Starks chase. I about died on that couch. Now Todd McFarlane's on that couch, but I about died on that couch that night. I could not believe I saw a chase, missed it totally. I got it on camera, so what did I do? Well, the next morning, I went there. I said, I'm going to go to this Target at 8 a.m. Just for peace of mind. It's a very slow Target, but I said, there's no way that's going to be there. I got all this on film, of course. And I went in there, and what do you know, that Ricky Starks was still on the pegs. I could not believe it. A couple other figures had sold, but nobody bought the Chase Rare Edition. One of the absolute wildest figure hunting stories of my life. So whenever I think to Ricky Starks, I think back to that. Just an amazing, amazing experience. Uh, talk about uh, your stomach just dropping when you're looking at the footage and you see that you totally missed a Chase at retail. Absolutely unbelievable. And what are the odds? I don't know, just a wild, wild story. So I don't know where that video is, but it was on my figure hunts, and I did a special video on it too. So if you want to see it, search it out. It's hard to find. There you go. But of course, let's take a look at old Ricky Stark, see what's going on with the packaging here. Of course, Unrivaled Series 14. You got the gold and black attack looking real good in the packaging design. Very Jax Classic Superstars-esque. You guys know me. I love my Classic Superstars. Even wrote a book on it. There you go. Shout out to that book. Glamour shot of Ricky with the FTW title. Happier times, as we do know. Got the title with him here. Love to see that FTW title. We saw that with Hook previously. Getting the use out of that title belt is what they're doing right here. He's number 128 in the Unrivaled line. Of course, Unrivaled 14. Got the S down low here. You line up all the boxes. Says scissors for those keeping track at home. And then you got Glamour shot on the back. A little bit of tail of the tape, and then, of course, the cross sell down below. Keith Lee, Swerve Strickland, Tony Storm, Anthony Bowens, Max Caster, Billy Gunn, with Keith and Billy, the Chase Rare Editions, in 14, as we do know. This is from Rampage, June 3rd, 2022, Ontario, Canada, beautiful. What's more beautiful, Ontario, California, or Toronto, Ontario? How about that one? Uh, it's not quite the same city. Uh, yeah, I get it. But uh, whenever I hear Ontario, California, I always think of Toronto, so I don't know. Maybe I'm alone in that. Maybe it's just one of those things. Who knows? But let's get down to it. Let's see what's going on with old Rick Starks. All oh, Rick Starks. Pull him out of the package. See you later. Goodbye. We got old Ricky. Pretty Ricky. Looking extra pretty right here. And of course, Ricky, a little bit of, I wouldn't say controversy. And I definitely wouldn't say conspiracy. But some people think in his AEW contract might be coming to an end. Some people think he might be following good friend of his and good friend of this very YouTube channel, Cody Rhodes over the WWE. See you later. Could that be a possibility? Could we see Ricky Starks just show up uh, in maybe NXT? Who knows? You never know what might happen there. But you know how it goes. In a lot of workplaces, not just wrestling, a friend leaves, goes somewhere else. Guess what? They take their friends with them. I remember when I left my company, a big company, oh, nine years ago. Now to my current job, I, there's about... I don't know, 15 people that came with me. They followed me over and said, Kyle, wherever you're going, I want to go. Got those people jobs, all that kind of stuff. And that happens in the wrestling industry. That happens in all industries. So wouldn't shock me if that did happen. We'll see what happens in the future. Oh, beautiful this time of year. The future, of course. 
But we got old Ricky out of the package. We're going to square him up a little bit. But let's look at these accessories first. Two gripping hands. He's ready to grip it and rip it if he needs to out of the package. Then we got the mystical, magical Ricky Starks hands here. If he's going to do some of those crazy poses when he does on his entrance, you can do that with these hands here. So it's uh, on brand for old Ricky Starks. Now we get the old FTW title belt and longtime wrestling fans like myself, we go back to the Taz days, the old FTW, a uh, magical time in ECW. And uh, Taz just created his own belt out of nowhere. It was a crazy time, let me tell you. Uh, you do got Bring It, FTW on the side plates on both sides. FTW World Heavyweight Wrestling Champion, the gold and orange attack against the black strap. Always a striking, nice looking belt right here. Uh, very, very cool. We're here for that all day long. But now we're going to dive into old Ricky Starks. And Ricky's got that necklace. We've seen this necklace in the past. Got to get the most out of your molds. Got to get the most out of your accessories. That's what we got that silver necklace right there. Starting off on the old Ricky Starks head. Man, he's mad. He's uh, yelling real loud. He's got a loud scream. You can just hear him screaming right here. Mouth is open. He's full of rage. Got a little bit of facial hair at the bottom of the chin there. And, of course, two eyes, a nose, a mouth, two ears. Playing those human hits right here at the table today. Nice short Ricky Starks haircut. I think most people would know this is Ricky Starks. If somebody popped this head off and said, hey, who is this? As long as you know AEW and you know wrestling, that is. Uh, but looking good in the head sculpt department here. Uh, articulation, his arm's going to go all the way around for us. Bicep cut. Double jointed elbows here. Not terribly... Eh, it's always dangerous at that elbow joint, but it's... Feels a little tougher than some, but we do got that same issue. Easily could snap off. I'm going to see a little kid breaking it. Black painted on wrist tape, of course. Hands back to four side side. Hands removable. Hula hoop all day long. Waist, of course. Not as much waist as there is hula hoop, that's for sure. Those big old pummel horse Ricky Stark splits. Man, he's ready to do some floor exercises. He's going to stand up down, upside down on that pummel horse. He's going to bring those legs together like so. Maybe he'll even do one back here and one this way. Just a, a gymnast, really, at the end of the day, Ricky Starks. Thigh cut, double jointed knees. Boot cut, yep. Ankles back and forth, up and down. Got those beautiful shoes on. I forget what these shoes look. It's technically boots, but it looks like those shoes. Almost like golf shoes. Are they called like hush puppies or something like that? Uh, the black and white shoes. Look like he's going to a Brian Setzer rockabilly concert or something. Who knows what uh, Ricky Starks is up to. You got the black and white and the knee pads. With a little bit of red trim there. And then the tights is something different here. You got the RS right in the front. Uh, obviously stands for Ricky Starks. Got a little bit of a kind of sculpted in, or I guess painted in more like it, uh, belt over there. And then you got Starks back on his butt. So pretty plain Jane, though, all things considered. I mean, uh, a little bit plainer than most wrestlers. There's not a lot of bells and whistles to this one. Obviously, it's really nice to get that title belt. Give it a little bit more pizzazz, I guess, at the end of the day. He does got the one elbow pad, forgot to mention that. But does he fit on a ringside collectible AEW Jazzware stand? Yes, he does. Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10% at ringside collectibles. An okay figure. There's nothing wrong with this. It's just a hair plane, really, at the end of the day. And it's been a while since that last Ricky Starks figure. So I guess, hey, he's a guy that's been on TV for the most part pretty consistently. We better get a figure out of him. So it does make sense for his return to the line here. It's just I can see some people saying I got the last one. And speaking of that last one, pull that out right here. Different head sculpt on that one, too. Different skin tone. I mean, it's close. Just a hair tanner here. This is Ricky in the summertime. This is Ricky in the wintertime. Uh, but two Ricky Starks figures, a little bit different. And as I always say, let's make them as different as possible. This one, I put the magical, mystical hands on. He's going to keep these hands over on this side of the fence. Make it feel as different as possible. And that's what we're going to do with this Ricky Starks figure. So for as far as Ricky Starks figures go, hey, it is what it is. It's all right with me. But what about you? Is it all right with you or is it an easy pass? I could see this being an easier pass, maybe out of the line, unless you really need that title belt. But you guys tell me in the comments down below. And of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. Don't forget about Patreon for early access to both YouTube channel videos. All kinds of bonus stuff over on Patreon. And Patreon, you do support the channel. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget, over on Amazon right now, Barnes & Noble's very shortly, the complete guide to the Jax Classic Superstar Series by yours truly, wrote a book, my first official wrestling book. Maybe more to come. You never know. Stay tuned for that. But this one out right now on Amazon. Love the support. Make sure you leave a five-star review, as they do say. Uh, but a passion project, a labor of love. Grab it at Amazon right now if you are so inclined. And don't forget to follow on social media. Sir Paul 64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads, and on Instagram. So for Ricky Starks and Unrivaled14, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.